hope everyone's doing good today. I just finished this um, traveler's notebook uh, this morning and I wanted to uh, share it with you guys really quickly just do a, a flip through so that you could see what's inside. So here's the cover. I, uh, you know, I am addicted to seam binding. I just love this stuff. I think it's beautiful. It, um, I just love it. So of course I'm going to use it in all of my traveler's notebooks. Um, so here's the cover. I just did, uh, you know, just gave it enough length so that it could tie. And here's the cover. It's a little girl and I did um, some seam binding around it. Excuse me. Um, did some sewing, of course sewed it and uh, put some canvas up here, a little fabric ruffle and there is a nice a big tag here. It's got the established so that you could put the date of your uh, traveler's notebook and it goes in here and let's look inside. All right, so here we have the, the front cover. It's got a big large pocket, it's been sewn on. It's, um, it's got some lace trim. It's got some trim up here, it's just with some punching and uh, the library card with more seam binding, of course, because it's so pretty. Uh, here's the uh, some floral paper. Here's a children's illustration. I printed this out. So I printed it on cardstock so it's nice and sturdy. You could, um, you know, put a picture, um, whatever it is that you want. Another nice big pocket with some seam binding. And um, I stamped on this uh, canvas fabric and sewed it on. And then it's got this little, uh, the little girls. I thought it was just so cute to put in here. So this is in here. It's the Tim Holtz. Um, I think relatives, um, things that he has. I forget what he calls them. Here's the next page, a nice big um, fabric ruffle. It's been sewn on. Music paper, this is vintage music paper. I thought this was so pretty. This is actually a um, like an instruction book for, I believe, kids. Uh, learning to play the piano so um, it, I just thought this was so pretty um, some ledger paper here's a book page with the pocket some more canvas and some of that fabric I put um, this little uh, safety pin with um, beads on here because I thought that was pretty and I included this uh, card she looks like a fae so <laughs> I stamped Faye on there. It, it just looked like her name to me for whatever reason. So I stamped it on there. And this is probably in my in my head <laughs> um, this little girl's grandmother. I don't know. Seems like a good story, right? So this is on here. Okay, and this is um, some, uh, I guess, vintage, uh, an in vintage invoice. I printed it out. And I included it in here on this uh, tea stained paper. Most of these uh, pages are uh, tea stained. Uh, here's graph paper, it's been tea stained. Here's some more vintage uh, music uh, piano pages, um, floral uh, vintage book page. Here's uh, just uh, regular paper, and I printed this other floral on the other side, which is graph paper. Here's a nice big pocket that's been sewn on with some canvas and a large tag that I put um, graph paper here so that you could journal. So lots of places to journal. And uh, this goes in here. This flips out. It's, a, it's an envelope that's also been tea stained. So there's a big nice tuck spot here. And here is a Tim Holtz um, ephemera that I sewed on and uh, made a little tag with some washi, washi tape. So there's that. 
and more seam binding on the trim here, the edge. And here's a drawing paper. I just left it blank so that you have plenty of room to draw, to uh, attach photos, whatever it is you want. And I just put a fabric tag up here. Here's some more um, printed paper that I printed out. Uh, this is um, Tsunami Rose uh, fabric trim. It's pretty floral paper. It's got a big window. I love that. And when you open this up, this fabric kind of outlines this middle page. It's pretty crazy. I just love the way that turned out. I didn't even plan it that way. Um, here's this. And this also, you can use this as a tuck spot, you know, to tuck whatever it is that you want. Here's the other side of the Tsunami Rose printable. Um, I just uh, attached another tag here, fabric tag. Uh, nice big pocket that's been sewn on with the little dangly seam binding. And I just thought this duck was just so cute. I had to insert it. It's just from a magazine. It's like a National Geographic, uh, like a coffee table book. It's actually a book. And I just loved it and I just wanted to put it in here. I put a tag. Um, a little tab and then inserted this uh, large tag and I just put um, this really soft trim with some lace trim and then seam binding so I attached it all. Sorry about that I had um, a phone call that came in the middle of uh, shooting the video so I think I was I showed you this and then I showed you this so like I said I just included these two in here I just think they're just so cute and um, tea stained paper uh, the, the printed paper here I made this large tag um, out and you know in the back there's space to uh, journal um, it's got a little pocket I just included this little um, it looks like a circus ticket or something so there's a pocket in here you can put whatever you want in this little pocket so this has um, handmade paper, some more of this fabric that's up here, and then um, some pink fabric. It's got a little card with a little girl and um, just sewed around it um, and then put this little circus tag. So it's cute. It's got, uh, I just thought that was cute. So it just goes here. Uh, more of this paper, the vintage uh, book page on this side which is so pretty. Here's the other side of the uh, music page and I just attached a tab here, fabric tab. Graph paper, here's the other side of that vintage uh, invoice. You could journal on here, just got so many uses. Here's the other side of that book page. Ledger paper, the other side of the um, kids uh, music page that I just folded over. And on this side I attached uh, this really pretty uh, napkin uh, that you can use to decoupage um, it's just it's just beautiful it's gorgeous so I just wanted to include it in here uh, for whatever it is uh, you wanted to use it for and um, on this side it's got a tuck spot you could put whatever you want on here in here um, and then I just tucked in this little book that I made it's um, it's fabric, it's got canvas. I stamped these little birds uh, with the ink and it's been bound. Uh, so it's got just these little tea stained little remnants of paper. I thought it was just so cute. So I wanted somebody to have it. So I just put it in there. I just think it's so pretty. And then this it got this really pretty pink seam binding all nice and attached here. And uh, here's the other side of that uh, paper. And then here is um, uh, the big pocket. It's got a pocket here, so you can put something in here. Uh, it's got this fabric pocket here. And I just included some graph paper and this coffee stained uh, receipt. That was just pretty to include in here. And um, 
seam binding, it's got lace, it's got a brad here, it's really pretty. It's got some paper, some stamping, and then I attach this um, canvas stamped Believe on it, and you just sewed it on. So that is this Traveler's Notebook. Thought it was very cute. I um, will be listing this in my Etsy shop if anyone is interested. Um, I also am going to include uh, this vintage um, handkerchief that I found at an estate sale. It has been washed. It has, you know, some little stains, but it, you know, if this is, you know, I can understand it. It's uh, been um, hand embroidered and it actually matches these little black specks actually match with this little black and of course the black thread and the little yellow and white I just thought it was so pretty so whoever purchases this will also receive this pretty um, handkerchief so anyway thank you so much for watching if you have any questions just uh, just let me know and I hope you have a great day thanks bye